plan for today is we're gonna roll out across the Grace Harbor Bar. We're gonna head out. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set five craft pots. We got them completely loaded with the best bait known to man. We're gonna drop those pots in about 50 feet of water just north of the jetty here. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head out and start making live bait. Okay, the live bait of today is the sand dab. We're gonna go for sand dabs in about 180 feet of water, load up on some sand dabs, and then we're gonna head offshore. Once we're offshore, our first target's gonna be halibut. We got just a whole slew of baits in the cooler today. Uh, my personal favorite for the day is a tuna belly brine and Potsky's halibut nectar. It's gonna be awesome. And then uh, after we load up on halibut, then we're gonna hit a link hot spot and load up with some dinosaurs there. So that's the plan for today. Those live bait uh, sand dabs, those are for the link hot. So they're gonna love them, absolutely candy. It's cherry. Get ready. Hell of a toss. And the toss. Yeah. Sure that I come out somewhere in the skin, not in the meat side. It's got to come through the durable side. 
just like this. Push that through kind of right in the middle and it's gonna come out the skin side like that. And then you'll notice that with where I've got this second hook, it's kind of, it's, it's already gonna lay in between the two dangling parts. So I'm not gonna be able to shove this hook into one of these parts, but what I will do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put this hook through here in the center and I'm gonna pull it all the way through, okay? All the way through, out the other side, just like that. So now that hook, no matter what, that hook is gonna be kind of right in that strike zone. But in order to help it out and kind of help it stay there, I'm gonna use some stretchy thread. The stretchy thread right here is pretty heavy duty stuff. Now with this, I'm gonna start up here at the top and just stretchy thread down. Once you get a couple wraps on the thread, it'll hold itself. And then you can start wrapping down the bait. Okay, and I went to about just above the eye of that hook, just like that, and that's all it takes. And now I'm gonna wrap the way back up. Okay, now to finish this, it's gonna be three half hitches with the stretchy thread, okay? So there's one, there's two, there's three, snug it up, kind of pinch down here where the bait is, pull that and it just snaps off, you're done with the stretchy thread. Okay, let's see what this bait looks like. So you're gonna have a squid that comes right over the bait like that, and there's your bait. Hooks sticking out. These are free to kind of sit there and swim in the current. You've got the Potskis brine in the bait and that tuna belly. And then tuna bellies are super oily anyway. So basically, you're gonna have this beautiful bait and streamlined. You got the squid on top, bait on the bottom, stretchy thread, it's not coming off. This thing's gonna fish perfectly, just like that. And Jerry is redeeming himself. Oh, 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 yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh! Oh! You're all your shit like so We're on a good drift right now. Okay. Here you go. Take my uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> off of that thing. And we got, we got right two on right now. Yeah, we're on. We're on? I don't know. Maybe it fell off. This one actually took a little bit of line. The question though is, did it take line because Jerry really didn't have his drag set properly? Oh, there's a bite. Oh, oh, oh yes, yes, yes. He's on, we got three on, Jerry's on. A little bit of a line peeler, huh? <laughs> The real one. Oh, fuck. We're gonna get the eight foot gap for yeah, this baby. Down or? Yeah, I was only at 75 and I've been going down to 89. Oh shit. Oh shit. Over here, Jerry. Oh, I got Lance right there. Oh, I was on my way down. Real, real, Jerry. Good. Oh, that's a decent fish. What the fuck? There it is. Oh. oh, that's a dandy. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Is it? I don't know if I went down and tangled with him. Yeah. I went down and tangled with him. Undo that. Yep. There you go. You feel anything on that line? No. There we oh, go. Oh, there it is. There we go. Get it. That was a good one. Yeah, buddy. That was yes, good one. sir. That's what we were looking for right there, right. baby. Ate the tuna belly. Hell yeah. Woo! Get that out. That's a real one right there. There you go, real, real, real. Okay. I want to show you something. The cameraman, who right now is Jerry, put this fish on the boat. That's a real halibut, okay? Jason is on a real one right now too. I'm gonna gap this fish. Oh. Okay, 
you come on over here. Over here. If you go on that side. Yes, you might want to grab your pole. This is a real fish. Three meters. a mondo shad like the biggest shad you could possibly come up with out of the columbia and he is getting hamstrung right now by this fish he's stopping the reel taking line dude this is gonna be a little bit yes sir he says 19 do I hear 18? Do I hear 18? Do I have a 17? 17 and a half, 17 and a half. Back to 19, back to 19. Come on. Nice and easy, easy does it. Easy does it, no panic. Take, keep it out there, keep it out there. Yes! There we that go. That's a decent guy. There we go. Nice work. What's the hot hook? Hot hook. You got your blade? Oh. oh, he's coming out. He's coming out. Did you put your hips into that fish? Um, I put my hips in that fish. <laughs> oh my god. That's a good one, Jay. That would be a decent one. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're yeah. taking line. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he didn't like that. Oh my god. That's that shad belly hawk. That was a shad. Yeah, that was a beauty. Slide left. Keep your runs about here. Keep going. Oh, he's decent. Uh, anyway, let's compare it to the other one. Here, grab it in there. Yep, come on over. I think uh, that's another glorious day on the water. We got two halibut here that are somewhere in that 60 to 70 pound range. We're gonna put a scale to them and see exactly where they come out. Um, smallest fish was probably in that 30 pound range. Just like really solid halibut fishing. I think these fish have just been doing nothing but gorging themselves on bait since the beginning of the year. And uh, we had an opportunity to fish them in August, so. You can't beat that. Uh, magic bait. Magic bait. Tuna, tuna bellies, man. Tuna bellies stripped out. Little flappers on the end. Stretchy thread. And then soaked in Potsky's halibut nectar. That's the ticket right there. And then you know what? You put us on one hell of a drift too. Yeah, because good. these fish pretty much came back to back within five minutes of each other, I'd say. And we were throwing one on the boat and then the next one on the boat. 